Okay, in this exam, in this, I'm going to just give you kind of a basic outline of Simpson's rule, and how it differs from the other rules is uh, the Riemann sums use rectangles. Trapezoid, of course, uses trapezoid. The Simpson's rule tries to fit a parabola inside uh, the curve. So you can see here, I, I just pulled this. We've got a curve p of, uh, f of x, excuse me. We create a polynomial or a quadratic that fits close to p of x. It has the same endpoints and some point in the middle in common. Okay, and of course, it should be right in the middle. So I just want you, I'm going to prove just a very quick general kind of form. There's more you could do with this. But keep in mind, you know, this h over 3, the width over 3, and this uh, coefficient of 4, all right? Because I am really only going to break it into these two uh, intervals. So it's really just going to cut off, you know, as the, f, uh, the first interval, 4 times the middle, and then skip right to the end. Okay, so just look for that. So let's say I want to find the area of the parabola. Okay, because that's what we're doing. We're trying to find the area of the parabola uh, from negative h to positive h. So I'm going to break it into two. Remember, Simpson's rule always has to have an even number of, of uh, intervals. So I break it into two. Each has a width of h. Okay. So let's just think in general, because we know calculus, how we would integrate. Well, the antiderivative here would be a over 3x cubed plus b over 2x squared plus cx, and we're going to evaluate at h and negative h. So when we do that, if I can plug in positive h, I get a over 3h cubed plus b over 2h squared plus ch. Now when I plug in a negative, of course a negative cubed is negative, so it will be negative a over 3h cubed. A negative h squared is still positive, so it'll be plus b over 2h squared uh, minus ch. Okay, let's get rid of the parentheses. We got a over 3h cubed plus b over 2h squared plus ch plus a over 3h cubed minus b over 2 h squared plus ch. Well, these two terms cancel because they are zero. We've got 2a over 3h cubed plus 2ch. Well, knowing where I needed to end up, I'm going to factor a 3 out, okay, an h over 3. Okay. Let me change this to a lowercase h, I don't know why I suddenly switched, h over 3. When I do that, I'm left with a 2a h squared plus a 6c. Okay. Now the whole point of Simpson's rule is that we don't need to know the formula, all we need to know are some points on the graph. So Let's say we just knew points, okay? Well, if we're going to try and set up a parabola, so we've got ax squared plus bx plus c, and we're going to plug in negative h, 0, and h. Well, if we plug that in, let's start with a, let's apply by negative h squared plus b multiplied by negative h plus c. If we plug in 0, we get a multiplied by 0 squared plus b multiplied by 0 plus c. And the last point we'll plug in is positive h. So h squared plus b times h plus c. Okay. Now again, the whole point of this is that we should be able to plug in um, the points. You know, we don't want to, Simpson's rule is for times we don't have the. Now, if I added those points together, let's say I just decided I wanted to add these three. So I have AH squared 
plus, I'm sorry, minus pH because of the negative. plus C. Now, of course, you notice that this is just C. Plus AH squared plus BH plus C. We'll take a look at this. These are gone. 2AH squared plus 3C. They're so close. It's so close to what we have in there. So how do we offset it? Well, we're 3C away, right? We're just 3C away. So what we did was we added 3, or I'm sorry, adding 3C to one of them like that. And now C plus 4C plus C gives us that 6C. So what it was, uh, the proof of this really is saying, how do you find the area under a parabola? And then we say, okay, well, we have three points on a parabola. How can we modify that to the calculus definition of area under the curve?